This is gonna be a short one because I've got a lot to do. Well, I'm kind of rest. Yeah, I am resting too because I'm very busy, lots of stuff going on. And um, well, yeah, I thought today is gonna be pick your battles because I talked about spiritual warfare last week, so now it's like pick your battles, and which of course is it actually is a cause for discernment and um. A case for discernment, whatever you want to say. Look, and here's Batty. I got Batty because they're my, they're the baby right now, sort of. Not their favorite, just the baby. And, yeah. And my pick your bells, I mean, like, we're talking the adult Sunday school at church this morning about, like, prophets and when do you know like talking to people about God and Jesus when do you know if do you keep trying on them or when do you need to give up and maybe you're not the right person for them or maybe you are and you need to keep trying and if you can't and there's not a definitive answer for each case. Oh, Batty, don't bite me. Please, thank you. The, like I said, for each case, because the blanket answer is trust in God. Pray for answers and be willing to accept that it's not about your ego or your glory. It's about God's. And sometimes you aren't the right person. Sometimes you just do have to stop and continue to pray for them, but you might have to cut them out if things aren't working. Like the instructions for the missionaries. And I can't, wish I could remember the exact Bible passage that says it. I think it's in, I think it is mentioned in Matthew. We just check really quick. Yeah. But yeah, basically you wipe the dust from your shoes and move on. When it's clear that you're not getting anywhere with it. Of course, that's for like missionaries in their village and stuff. But yeah, let's look for the, um, the exact thing. Cause yeah, sometimes I get stuff confused. I know that shocks everybody. Let's see. Hmm. But missionaries and you just if I just use that, let me just check that. Let's see. No, I mean okay, Bible. Okay, um Yeah. Okay, ah, uh, here we are. Luke 9, 5. Is there any goes? Yes. Okay. Well, actually, I'll start at 9, 1 to give the whole context. And, of course, this is Jesus speaking. Je Jesus is a main character. In the speaker. And he called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal and he said to them take nothing for your journey no staff nor bag nor bread nor money and do not have two tunics and whatever house you enter stay there and from there depart and wherever they do not receive you when you leave that town 
Shake off the dust from your feet as a testimony against them. Basically, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that's in Matthew 2, but I don't remember where. So, yeah. Um, let me just look to see. Oh. Yeah, it yeah, it mentions it in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Yeah, Matthew is ten it pretty much shake shake the dust off your thing. Yeah. And if well here it, this is Matthew ten fourteen. And if anyone will not receive your or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet when you leave that house or town. Truly, I say to you, it will be more bearable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. Now, again, people, I'm sure people will use it to say, see, God's a mean, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, again, consequences. Lack of free will is no more loving than lack of consequences. So, yeah. We... People just do stuff. And they have... We have to answer for what we do. Whether... Righteous or crappy. We have to answer for it. And... Jesus answered for us all, so... If we're true to him, he will be true to us. And... Yeah, and the verses in... Just a minute. Love my coffee. So... That actually... Was the topic in church today. Matthew 22... 34 to 40. Which is when Jesus tells... Then that the two greatest commandments are love. Everything else, you know, love God and love others. Everything else falls under that category. That's all there is to it. But loving does not mean enabling stuff. I, I already covered, I think I covered that in my last week too, yeah. You don't enable bad behavior. You still love them and pray for them. But sometimes you do have to cut people out of your life. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm leaving this up just because I'm lazy. And, yeah, I know, just so I can see, make sure the camera's right. And if, if I want to put the cats in the camera, I make sure they're there. But, yeah, you just got to make sure you know what you're doing. Which, okay, yeah, how many of us do, really, I guess. No, I shouldn't have said that, sorry. But, um... Yeah, we gotta... And picking your battles, like I said, you don't know sometimes in the short term whether you should, this is a battle you have to do or not. And sometimes it's easy with, ah, no, stop. I didn't do that. I was cleaning the mouse pad off and laptop. But yeah, like... False prophets, do, how do you yeah, respond to false prophets? Do you, yeah, call, you can call them out and again continue to pray for them. And when you know if it's, it's a false prophet, it, it's really easy. What are they, what are their predictions? Have any of them come true? Yeah, and I believe it also says in the Bible that if one of their predict, even if just one prediction is wrong, it's not from God. Therefore, they are not a true prophet. And, yeah, we see in the Bible, all the prophets whom God chose, what they said happen, would happen, did happen. That's, you know, and... It's like, okay, I used this example when we were talking about this kind of stuff and 
Sunday school. So I'm, this is an egg. So I'm holding an egg. And I say, if I drop this egg, it will break. Okay, that does not mean I can predict the future. That really doesn't. That's not in that. You don't need to know that. Yeah, that's that person. You can just say, yeah, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. There's no reason to be rude. And that and, well, and, well, that's kind of going back. People, yes, obviously, when you call someone out on their, be the Bible gives you instructions for that, too. First off, you don't do it in public at first. You do it privately. Give them a chance to repent. And if they don't, then you have to keep adding more people, getting more people involved as witnesses. And then if they still, when you get to the last thing, which basically is between the whole church or whole village, it's over and pit. Then bye bye. You just get, you cut them off. But, like I said, you still don't be rude about it. No. And I, I know I was going to say something else about what my real message for Pick Your Bowels was. But like I said, this week has been crazy. And next week can be very busy too. I mean, busy in a good way. In a very good way. So, yeah, my live streaming tomorrow might be delayed. I'm not sure what's going to go on with that. Because I... They're supposed to start work on my pipes, and it's food bank delivery day, so I gotta help unload the truck and stock the shelves and stuff. And well, and there's something else. It's always something else, night. Like I said, I don't remember. Oops. Anyway, that's yeah, that's this week. Yeah, and hopefully I can also get the septic tank pump too, and I can be back in business. And, yeah, I was blessed with firewood today, so I won't be too cold, because Tuesday is going to be very cold. It's not supposed to get about freezing. And it's supposed to be single digit tonight again, which I expressly forbid to happen, which, obviously, that's working so well. Yeah. And that's kind of the real battle. Yeah, that actually... Like, I forbid it. Yeah. Our own ego, our own... Our sinful nature is... What we're finding in more than anybody else. And... Those who tempt us. Or try and, you know, get us to... To spoil our faith. Rotten fruit sucks. Unless you're a pig and... Yeah, no. I just... I like bacon and ham, though. That's really gonna... Nothing to do with anything. I just felt I should say that. And so, yeah. I know, I'm... Yeah, I kind of going off on tangents today. Oh, well. Like I said. A lot going on, and... Just so... Yeah, and, well, I will say this about pick, Back to Pick Your Battles. There may be a Goliath out there in your way, but you might not always be the David. You might need to find, you might have to go find the David. Yeah. Because, yeah. It wasn't David who won the battle, really. We know that. It made it clear. Just like when the Israelites took back Jericho. Well, they didn't take it back. They never had it in the first place. They claimed it uh, as God's promise to them. But yeah, Jericho didn't fall because of them. It fell because of God. God's the one who... You know, he will fight your battles for you. And he will use you to do it. He'll also use other people. So, yeah. Yes. 
if your ego is in the way as well, obviously that's your real battle. You're fighting what you see in the mirror. And that ain't easy. But like I said, God is, God is your champion. He will be the one fighting for you if you let him. And I'm going to end it there because I need more coffee. And I want a nap, but I've got too much to do. I'll just have to have more coffee instead. So, hope everyone's having a good day.